Hello my mathematicians. Today we are going to be looking at lesson 5.8 which is all about problem solving with decimal operations. So these are going to be multi-step problems that we are going to have to do. And so if we look at the first question, it says Carson spent $15.99 for two books and three pens. So we have $15.99 Fifteen dollars and ninety-nine cents. That's two books and one pen. The books cost four ninety-five each. So one book equals four ninety-five. The sales tax on the total purchase was 122. So sales tax $1.22. Carson also used a coupon for 50 cents off. If each pen had the same cost, how much did each pen cost? So again, I'll just read through this one more time to make sure that you understand. Carson spent $15.99 for two books and one pen. The books cost $4.95 each. The sales tax on the total purchase was $1.22. And there was, he used a coupon for $0.50 cents off. If each pen had the same cost, how much did each pen cost? This is actually three pens. So two books and three pens. So we have to figure out how we're going to solve this, okay? So we kind of need to work backwards in the fact that we are going to start with how much he spent all together which is fifteen ninety nine. Okay. Then we are going to add on the coupon because the coupon was taken off so we need to add it back on. So we're going to add so nine fourteen six one now since we added that we can now take off the tax so coupons you're going to add sales tax you're going to subtract so we have the 1649 minus the 122 9 minus 2 is 7 4 minus 2 is 2 6 minus 1 is 5 1 minus 0 is 1 okay now we know that there were two books at $4.95 a piece. So if we figure out how much they cost together, $4.95 times 2, 10, 18, 19, 8, 9. So we get $9.90. So we're going to subtract $9.90, $7.90. Becomes a 4, 12. We get 3, that becomes a 0, 14, that becomes 5. So we're at 537. Okay. Now all we have to do is figure out how much each pen costs. Well, there are three of them, so it means we are going to divide 537 by 3. So 3 goes into 5 one time. Subtract, that gives us 2, bring down the 3, 7, 21, 2, 7, 9, bring up our decimal point, 179. So a dollar seventy nine.
is our answer. Each pen costs $1.79. So really we're working backwards with these problems because we're given the total price and we're giving bits and parts. And the important thing to remember is that when we have a coupon, normally if you were working your way forward, you would add up your total and then take off the coupon. Well, because we're working backwards, we're adding back on the coupon, okay? And then we're subtracting everything else. So a coupon we add on, and then sales tax is something that you add on to the end of a purchase. But again, because we're working backwards, we have to subtract that off, okay? Let's quickly take a look at the next problem. It says, last week, Vivian spent a total of $20. She spent $9.95 for tickets to the school fair. $5.95 for food, and the rest for two rings that were on sale at the school fair. If each ring had the same cost, how much did each ring cost? So again, she's starting with the $20, so that's what we start with. So we're starting with $20. Then it says she spent $9.95 for the tickets to the school fair, $5.95 for food, and the rest for two rings that were on sale at the school fair. If the ring had the same price, how much would each cost? Well, this one's pretty simple. We're just going to subtract everything to start because she spent the $9.95. So we're going to subtract $9.95. Okay, because of all these zeros, I have to come all the way over here to this two. It becomes a 1. This is a 10 and then a 9. 10 then a 9. And a 10. So we get 5, 0, 0, 1. Next it then says that she spent $5.95 for food. So we're going to subtract the $5.95. Zero. Again, we have to come all the way over here. This becomes a nine. This one becomes a ten. One, four. So we're left with four ten. And then she spent the rest on two different rings. So we take this and we divide by two. So two goes into four two times. Multiply it four. Zero. Bring down the one. So it be 0, 0 times 0. 2 is 0, 1 minus 0 is 1. Bring down the 0, 2 goes into 5, or it goes into 10 5 times. 10, 0. So each ring costs $2.05 as our answer. So I know that there are lots of different steps with this, um, but hopefully with practice it'll make sense in just thinking about working backwards.